so on Saturday at 12.30, half an hour before the post office closed, I mailed off some glow plugs to Hello, the young fellow who bought my suburban in Long Island. I didn't have a chance because I was rushing to get to the post office to show you how I tested the glow plugs. So I've got a few here that are duds that came out of the weasel. Hook up negative to the body, the threads positive to the terminal, nothing. And to make sure my alligator clips work, because some of these junk Chinese ones don't work, we'll just spark them together. And they don't work, because I'm not connected to the battery. There we go. I never leave things connected to the battery. Yeah, I got it sitting on a wood, even though it's a wise tail. Batteries used to be made of wood, wooden box, lined with whatever lead. So let's try this again. Here is one of the dead glow plugs. No spark. If it was good, it would spark. No heat. Mr. Weezer owner said it heated up slowly. Oh, I don't know about that. Another dead one. Oh, let's do the spark test. Got a loose connection with the battery, it's corroded. So let's try a good one now. Because I'm cheating, I already tested these on Saturday. See, okay, spark. And I'll put a bit of oil on the tip to demonstrate the smoke. And that's what happens. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007. Now they sell a whole bunch of different ones. Wellmans, that SS Diesel, I was just reading on the internet. SS Diesel sells Wellmans that they used in Hummers. And it seems that those may have had, before 2005, a habit of swelling, expanding here. And they don't come out of the hole. That's not a good thing. I guess you just push it into the cylinder and it rattles around on top of the piston and lowers the compression. I read that. <laughs> Spark. Let's see, 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010. I've never seen a swollen glow plug. I'm going to disconnect the battery. I've never seen a swollen there's only seven you can get to on the turbo diesel. Turbo weasel. One's under the turbo, can't get to it. The one's on the passenger side. Whoop, that's hot. One's on the passenger side are hard to get to. Driver's side's real easy. Six, two, they're all easy. And the name is written below the threads. I wonder if I can read the name on these. AC Delco has the nine G's or 60 G's. Autolite sells some. Um, they got the Bosch Duraterms that have a dual element. I put those in the weasel. They didn't light up very fast, but they have a dual element or an overheat coil, so you can't kill them. And these are Wellman. I know you can't read that, but it says W E L L M A N. radio station. <sighs> Another woman. You said these came out of the, um, the bent ones came out of the weasel, I think. Can't read that one, but it sure looks the same. One more dead one. Not swollen though. Another Wellman. Yep, Wellman. These are the ones that got hot. <laughs> they both got red inserts compared to the black one. 
see it's got red under the blade. And these are Champion CH7. So, Champion CH7s. So, I don't know why I'm keeping these. Maybe I'll sell something in the summer and put the dead ones in. <laughs> That's a 70 Chevelle SS396 that I saw back in 1982, 30 years ago. I wonder if that car still exists. <laughs> Mugs and ladybug in my dump truck. Look at that face of terror. Renovating one of the buildings like that metal roofing where the chimneys used to be. Junk. Right. Uh, yeah, I got some batteries. Mm. I'll go look in the barn and see what's in there for glow plugs. I sent most of them away. Uh, what's doing here in front of the barn? Lights are on. I've got a kid going to come here from a truck place. He drives truck, does repairs. He's got a 10-day period off, so he'll come here and put this back together. Hopefully we got all the bolts and brackets. Yeah. Give it to a guy to change the motor, and he got too busy, and hope he didn't lose anything. new SS diesel. These should be the Wellmans then. Let's see what we got here. Yep, brand spanking new. WAP. Yep, Wellmans. It's got those same hash marks around the circumference below the threads. Yep, Wellman. Six A X K four three blah 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 too much reflection. And here's one that says new Bosch Duraterm. I couldn't change one of them. These are from some other job. I couldn't change one of them on the weasel, it's behind the turbo. Totally inaccessible. This is France. Bosch Duraterm 02 02 02 hmm. 02 can't read it 1Y France Cold plugs are made in France It's got a gold ring below the blade, see that? Get rid of that light reflection. See the gold ring? The brass with a black bushing. Wellman on the top. Bosch has a much shallower thread. Not shallow, shallower flat face. Wellman's a little deeper. Bosch is a little longer. Not, not identical by any stretch of the imagination. I'm not sure what I sent off to Mr. Weezer. Could have been some AC Delcos or Champions or Autolites. No idea. So I got a couple of spares and uh, maybe once he figures out what's wrong he'll buy some new ones. Do some research, decide which are the best ones. The Boss Duraterms are supposed to be the best but they light, don't light up as fast, but he has a longer glow time because of the buddy chip that was installed. 
when I service the truck in Lompoc, California. I don't have a memory. <laughs> Wish the camera would beep a little louder talking to myself. So, what was I just saying? There's the glow plugs. There's a rear window motor for the Blazer. It uses a cable, not gears. Well, it uses gears, but a cable. Not a rack and pinion or a flat gear. Sway bar bushings, fuel pump return line, hose clamps, extra tiny, tire plugger, rear shock, pushing repair or front shock, dimmer switch, 6.5 relay, for the mechanical injection they're different, just a little different. See the terminals are on the left, on the 6.5 they're on the right, yep, 93, bought that on eBay, just in case. Brake pads, positive traction additive, grease, gaskets, bearings and seals, halogen bulbs. Anti kick down for the 6 2. I've had these bulbs for 20 years, don't use them very often. H4 halogen bulbs. Popular in Europe, now they use them in Honda, so they became popular again. If I was good at doing 12 volt wiring, I'd put this on the weasel. Daytime running lights. I don't like doing wiring, it's not complicated, I'm just not a specialist. This is for the 93. When you put the high beams on, the weasel 2, it turns off the low beams. This one runs all of them simultaneously, high beams and low beams. Padlocks, torch regulators, trailer harness adapters, old power window switches. Roll back the mileage. <laughs> Heater cords. Here's a pause attraction from an 87 Buick full size wagon. Old school temperature gauge. Here's a posi from 241 from a 79 Grand Prix I've had for 25 years. Needs to go into a hot rod and get it out of here. New Brunswick Duwop Cruisers. Rear front leaf spring rear bushing bracket for the Suburban or the Blazer. Shrink tubing, battery cable, tachometer for a diesel, power window switches. Oh no, those are uh, windshield, wa windshield washer motors. All right, I'm getting crunchy here. Corvair motor. I got it on macro and it zooms it in. It's annoying. So maybe my friend Matt M will get this thing put together. Crank this baby up. This is the motor from the crew cab with the injection pump original to this truck with the PMD from the crew cab. Complicated, huh? 